Hey guys, CR Models here. Um, today we're going to teach you how to solder uh, EC5 connectors on your battery pack in ESC as well as the little ends that go on the other side of the ESC to connect to your motor. Um, always make sure you have the necessities before you start soldering. You want to make sure you have some good solder, some flux, something to cut the wire with, a knife or strippers to strip the um, sheathing with. And you want to make sure you have a good good soldering system. Um, this is a track power soldering station. It's the TK950. I got it for my local hobby store. It was $69.95 and it comes with a, a five year warranty. I've been very happy with it. Um, also make sure you have a lighter or some, or heat gun to shrink the heat shrink over the bullet ends after. Alright, let's get started. Another little quick soldering tip guys, always make sure the tip of your soldering gun so it doesn't burn. You always want to make sure there's a little bit of solder on it. And it's going to conduct the heat to your wires a lot easier. Alright guys, I like to prep the connectors first. Um, you don't need to touch the solder directly to the soldering iron get the end itself warm and the heat will conduct right through it and melt your solder. Alright, next we're going to prep the battery here. I always do one lead at a time. You never want two leads hanging around because you can short it out against something. Dip it in your flux. Flux, flux takes all the corrosive parts off the wiring and helps the solder stick to it. Alright, so now we're going to tin up the lead, get it set for soldering. Do not touch the solder directly to the soldering gun. Simply heat up the wire. Once the wire is hot, the solder will marry itself right inside the strands. Alright, it's nice and coated. Alright, now this is all tinned up. We're ready to put this end in the EC5 connector. Uh, before you prep the EC5, I always mark with a little marker. The negative and a, from the positive so you don't screw up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the connector, put the wire in it and while it's still hot we're going to push it down and lock it inside the EC5 connector. So we simply just heat the, heat the end back up. Alright, so we're going to take it, we're going to push it down inside the connector, get something long to push it in and you'll hear it click. Alright, so the side's in and done. And we're going to go through and we're going to repeat the same thing on the positive side. Always work one side at a time so you never have any wires that could possibly short out on you. Alright, so basically what I just did already on the positive side is I, uh, I already pre-fluxed and pre tin this. So now we're getting ready to stick the side in the connector. Simply heat it back up. Get the wire nice and center. And again, it's important while this is hot, get this down inside your EC5. Until you hear the click. And that's it. 
That's how we install an EC5 connector on your battery. Alright, and those are the male ends for, that are going to connect to the ESC. So what's nice about a lot of electronic speed controls, especially Castle, is their leads that go on their uh, connectors already come pre-tinned and pre-soldered for you. So it's basically just hooking up on the connector end. Same process as before, get that nice and straight in there. Make sure it's going to the negative. And the reason why you want to do it while it's still warm is it just clicks in a lot easier. Alright, we've heard to click. So now, this side, the speed control is done. When you're done, you make sure that everything matches up. You've got your positive, positive, negative, negative. Alright, now the EC5s are done on the speed control and battery. Alright guys, now essentially doing the connectors for the motor side of the ESC is pretty much the same thing. Put the connector in your little jig. Fill it up with some solder. And stick the end in. While it's still warm, take this piece of heat shrink tubing, go right to the end with it. Take the heat shrink tubing, slide it right to the end here. So you see just a little bit of the brass connector stick out. And just heat it right up with a lighter or you know heat gun. That's basically how you do the end for the speed control. It'll meet right up with the motor. A little soldering tip, guys. Always make sure you have a nice, clean tip to start with. Get off all the old solder. Make sure it's nice and shiny. And if you want, before you store it at the end of the day, just take a little piece of solder, stick it on a tip, just like that, and let it dry. That way when you're storing it, your tip won't rust.